Now, this is how it works. Taylor will give you a headline. You have to decide, is this woke? Is this real? Is this happening in the country? Or is this a joke? Did Taylor, Jared, or myself, did we concoct this in the uh, Howie Car Radio Network studios? It's up to you to decide. We're going to start with Mary. Mary, are you ready for your headline? Hi. Hi, Mary. Are you ready to go, Mary? All right, All right her, Mary, Taylor. here's your headline. These new vegan shoes are made from recycled birthday party balloons. Okay, woke. That is woke. Very good, Mary. Very, very good. Woo! Yeah, Lisbon-based shoe brand Undo for Tomorrow recently launched its vegan New Ven sneakers, which feature a multicolored sole made from discarded party balloons and rubber tire leftovers. They're made using other recycled and natural materials, such as bamboo for the lining, sustainably sourced Amazon rainforest rubber for the toe caps, castor oil for the insole, and recycled plastic for the vegan suede outer shell, and I'm sure they disintegrate as soon as you step in a puddle. And I'm sure they're good-looking shoes based off that description. You you know what the funny thing is, is that balloons have become such a big part of, like, bridal showers and parties. The Kardashians do those big, you know, archways full of balloons. So it's good they're getting some use. Yeah, people release them, and they, you know, they get left out in the woods. Oceans fill up with them. It's not good. It's not good. All right, Mary, hang on the line. Give your information to Matt, and you'll be entered to win in a Viva Trattoria VIP experience. All right, let's go to David. David, are you ready for your headline? All right, yeah, let's do it. All right, David, here's your headline. IKEA releases new Pride line of furniture. That's got to be woke, yeah. Is that your final answer? Well, now you got me wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do All it. right. It is woke. Very good. Wow. We're on a hot streak today. Ikea, Not a joke. IKEA has come out with a new line of couches for Pride Month. The couches are meant for two, and each one is inspired by a different flag from the LGBTQ plus spectrum. Have you noticed this year, Grace, there are different flags for the LGBTQ community. Yes. There's the regular pride flag. Then there's one with like a triangle in the middle of it with different colors. I guess that adds trans community and and several others in there as well. So IKEA has come out with uh, 10 different love seats that they've marketed as LGBTQ plus. I, I have to wonder if anyone in the LGBTQ plus community gets a little miffed at how these companies tried to bank off of their month you know it's pride month and it seems like every company you know all these clothing stores they're all trying to sell you something it's weird right it's become very commercialized nobody sells any line of products for black pride month why gay pride month i don't know of anybody that sells anything for black pride month that's specifically geared towards black people I, I would just I would just assume that some people are offended by this and say, you know what, we're going to celebrate Pride Month, but you don't need to start trying to sell your couches in the meantime. I, I say it's sexual orientation appropriation. I, I would totally agree. Yeah. All right, let's go to Steve. Steve, are you ready for your woke or joke headline? I am ready to go. Okay, here we go. All right, are, uh, here's your headline, Steve. Ransomware attacks also disproportionately impact communities of color. This is easily the toughest contest on the radio. <laughs> um, I, um, I'm going to go. This is a joke. That is a joke. Wow. Very good. Ooh. We're three. Wait, by the way, that was a joke. Good today. Well, everyone's getting good at this. We're going to have to make them even trickier. I thought that was going to be an easy joke. That that somebody that would, yeah. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. All right, so uh, Steve, hold on for Matt. He'll take down your information. You'll be entered to win the Aviva Trattoria VIP experience. All right, let's go to Mark. Mark, are you ready 
to talk to the Wizard of Woke. Uh, let's go, Grace and Taylor. All right, four, Mark. Four, four. Here's your headline: <laughs> Popular fast yes, food, pa- a popular fast food burger chain to end all day breakfast to facilitate our equity. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a joke. That is a joke. Oh man, everybody's getting them. We're not stumping By anybody. By the way, that was a joke. That's not true. Jared came up with that one. Jared, what was the thinking behind that headline? Well, we have equity for everything else, so we may as well have our equity and clock equity. Yeah, it could almost be confused for woke. It's, it's that crazy. Yeah. That's, that's the entire point. Yes. The entire point. You just yeah. summarize the segment. Thank you, Mark. Uh, uh, Matt will take your number. You'll be entered to win. Um, let's go to Babette. Babette, are you ready for your headline? I am ready. All right. Here you are, Babette. Here's your headline. We're coming for your children. San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus Pushes Woke Agenda. Uh, I'm going to say woke. That is woke. Oh, my gosh. Wow. (laughs) We are on a roll today. Not a joke. We really are. We actually have sound of that. Um, Hold on one sec, Babette. The the song is titled A Message from the Gay Community. It mocks parents that fear the push of the LGBTQ agenda in today's media with a song claiming that parents wouldn't be able to protect their kids from the advances and ideas of the group. Can we have a little bit of it, Jared? We'll convert your children. Yes, we will. Reaching one and all. There's really no escaping He's gayer than Grinder. <laughs> it's a catchy tune. It's, it is catchy. I was, I was whistling it on the way into the studio. <laughs> <laughs> we'll convert your children. But uh, yeah, it's it's not saying they'll convert them to be gay. They're saying they'll convert your children to be more accepting because they assume that all parents hate gay people, I guess, or any LGBTQ plus member. All right, guys, 844-500-4242. If you want to get on the line now to do woke or joke, you still have time. Um, And let's go to Mike. Mike, you're next with Grace and Taylor. Are you ready for your headline, Mike? Hi, Grace. Yep, I'm ready. Hit me, Taylor. All right, Mike, here's your headline. Consumer Advocacy Group Scraps Buy American Campaign Amid Accusations of Xenophobia. Um, I'm going to say walk on that. That is a joke. I got you. Yes! <laughs> By the way, that was a joke. That's not true. I've been Oh, come on, man. I've been holding I've been holding that one in my pocket for a couple of weeks and I finally got it out. All right, there. Taylor, do you mind waiting to the other side? We're going to stack up these lines once more uh, sure. for a few more of these 844-500-4242. Get in now for woke or joke. Uh, the frenzied real estate market is causing bidding wars across certain segments. Real estate brokers are holding calls for highest and best offers because demand is so high. How do you as a seller know if you have realized all of the money for your property and if you've sold under the best terms? You wouldn't hire a refrigerator repairman to fix your valuable car. So when selling real estate, let the bidding war experts for over 45 years sell your property quickly, contingency-free, and for true market value. Recent real estate auctions for Grace Curley listeners have attracted as many as 30 qualified cash-ready buyers battling for their properties. Um, And also at the end of the auction, you know you got the most money possible, which is a great feeling. Now, remember, when you sell your real estate in the usual way with a broker, you pay the commission, but in a J.J. Manning auction, the buyer pays. That saves you, the seller, thousands of dollars right there. To learn more on how to get your property sold quickly and contingency-free, contact Charlie Gill at 800-521-0111 or jjmanning.com. Call Charlie today at 800-521-0111 or go to jjmanning.com and get your property sold. 844 844- 500 42 42 we'll take all of your calls we're going to stack up the lines and then we have a few more woker jokes it's not too late to enter to win the aviva vip experience and to prove that you know you're up to date on the wokeness which is it's an ever-evolving paradigm is how we car might say we'll be right back on the other side this is the grace curly show follow grace on twitter at g underscore curly We'll convert your children. Someone's got to teach them not to hate. We're coming for them. Your children will work to convert all their sisters and brothers. Then soon we're almost certain. 
I liked it up until that point. But but you know what, Taylor? You hit the nail on the head. What is this assumption that parents are teaching their kids to hate? Like, since when did parents become these people who are, you know, training their kids to hate anyone who's different than them? It's it's such a smug idea that, oh, we have to teach your kids not to be racist bigots because you're not doing it. Right. And they smile in your faces as they're doing it. Yeah. The song sounded good until the entire chorus came in. Then it took on this almost demonic chorus vibe. When they vibe. said, we're, we're coming after them or we're, we're coming after them. Yeah. It's a yeah, lot of time devoted to that song, though. We're coming for your children is never a good line. No, it's I would never agree. a good tack to take, no, no matter what it's about. 844-500-4242. It's not too late to get on the line for Woke or Joke. Taylor's got a handful of headlines left, some of which are made up, some of which are unfortunately very, very real. But before we get to that, today's poll question is brought to you by CapeLily.com. 100% natural soaps, perfect for sensitive skin, handcrafted in small batches with Cape Cod sea salt. Buy local and save your skin with these moisturizing, chemical-free soaps. Love your soap, love your skin. Go to CapeLily.com and remember that's Lily with two L's, CapeLily.com. Jared, what is the poll question and what are the results thus far? What will be John Kerry's excuse for not wearing a mask at Logan? It's the only choice for someone like me. I'm the public face of Boston or I fell for a setup. I just so we can play the audio, we'll vote for it's the only choice for someone like me. It's the only choice for somebody like me. Taylor, uh, he's he's gonna say he fell for a setup. Yeah, maybe they asked uh, him. The TSA uh, personnel told me to take my mask off for the scan. Yeah, it's gonna be someone else's fault. That would be a classic John Kerry. I, I do find it amazing though how this is the second time that we've. You'd think he'd be hyper vigilant about this. It's the only choice for someone like me in the lead at 57%. 35% say I fell for a setup. All right, Eileen, you're next with Grace and Taylor. Are you ready for your woke or joke headline, Eileen? Hi, yes, I am. <laughs> All right, Eileen, here is your headline. Oh, I'm nervous. Denial of evolution is a form of white supremacy. Um, I think that's a joke. Unfortunately, it's woke. No, oh. really? This is not a joke. Yeah, this is an essay <laughs> uh, penned by Allison Hopper. She said, "I want to unmask the lie that evolution denial is about religion and recognize that at its core, it's a form of white supremacy that perpetuates segregation and violence against black bodies." At the heart of white evangelical creationism is the mythology of an unbroken white lineage that stretches back to a light-skinned Adam and Eve. <gasps> I'm sorry I broke the record, guys. No, Eileen, I, I, I don't think you did. No, I, no, you weren't the first one to get it wrong today. So. Yes, but Eileen, thank you. Try again next week. That's the thing about Walker Joe. And we're going to we're gonna get into this one in, in The Week in Woke later on with Howie Carr at 5.30 today. Ooh, there's a little tease for everybody. All right, Deneen, you're next with Grace and Taylor. Deneen, are you ready for your woke headline? Or, or your joke headline? I'm ready. All right, Deneen. I'm he ready. Here's your headline. Wrestling group cuts ties with announcers over on-air misgendering of talent. I say woke. That is woke. Very good, Deneen. Very good. Not a joke. Tell me what happened. Pittsburgh, <laughs> Pittsburgh-based pro wrestling promotion Rise Wrestling severed ties with play-by-play -play commentators Paul Atlas and Jim LaMotta following the company's Rise Returns event on June 19th after both continually misgendered out Rise roster member and prominent video game critic Stephanie Sterling during the broadcast. She, actually, I'm sorry, I just did it. They, oh, Taylor. They, known in Rise as Commander Sterling, identifies as trans non-binary and uses they, them pronouns. Information that the Federation said was provided to all announcers on the show in written form prior to the event's start. So they called her she. They should have called her they or them. Okay, well, first of all, because you just made the same mistake, it's been really nice knowing you. We are going to have to ask you to... Hand in your microphone and walk away. I'm sorry. I no longer identify as this person.
person with the social security number that was hired here. So I retain my employment. You, you know what's funny, though? It is tricky. I was listening to a podcast. There was two girls, and they were talking about a celebrity who identifies as they, them. And the amount of times they accidentally called this person her or she and had to correct themselves they got to a point where they couldn't even have a real conversation because it was so confusing. Well, and those individuals that refer, that would like to be referred to as they, them, they always refer to themselves as I or me, never we or us, which would be the more grammatically correct structure of the sentence if you're going to ask people to refer to you as a plural. You also have to refer to yourself as a plural. You get what I'm saying? I do. I'm just sad that it's this is where strange. we're at. The grammar is being thrown out the window. And now if you want good grammar, you're racist. That, Woker that joke for me another one. always has, it's a double-edged sword. It's funny, but it also makes me depressed that so many of these are real. Charlotte, are you ready for your woke or joke headline? Yes. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right, Charlotte. Here's your headline. Pride group urges exorcising the rainbow of the color orange because it reminds them of Trump. Um, I'm going to go with joke. That is a joke. Very good. <laughs> Very Another good, excellent That is a joke. That's not true. Another excellent headline from Jared. All right. Thank you, Charlotte. Stay on the line. We'll put you in the competition to win the Aviva VIP experience. Now, Taylor, we don't have enough time for a call, but do you have any that are real that you didn't get to? Uh, We have one left that was real. I didn't really get to dig into this one, but the headline is, I've always loved fried chicken, but the racism surrounding it shamed me. It's about a black individual that uh, grew up in the UK and was afraid to order fried chicken because they were afraid of getting stereotyped. All right. Now, if people want to learn more about all of this, where can they catch you later on today? 5.30... On the Howie Car Show, it's the week in woke. We go over most of these stories in depth. All right, Not thank a joke. you. Thank you very much, Taylor Cormier, the Wizard of Woke. We'll be right back 